Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. This is St. Nicholas, and he is decidedly engaging in some decidedly non-canon behavior. This, this right over here, this absolutely will not stand. Fantastic, there we go. Now all is right with the world, and once again, I can feel... Mm. Alright, but not only do I feel... But also, I feel like it's time for us to cash in some of those ching 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 credits. <laughs> That's right. We got three of them at the end of the last episode, up to 1,500 kills, which is insane. And I think the very first thing we're going to want to spend them on is a watch. It's time to, uh... Time to have a bath. Go ahead and shirk the earthly bonds of the alarm clock. As too long have you been burdened by its mighty heft. It is actually pretty heavy at half a kg. And now instead, no, we can know that it is the 21st of August, meaning that we have survived about 30 days in game, which is fantastic. I might be mistaken, but I think we started on the 15th of July. Uh, I will check that and uh, tell Magic. We'll put it on the screen what the actual start date was. But we have survived a specific number of days. Very good. Everyone applaud. That leaves us with two credits, right? Now, you might think, okay, obvious choice is some gloves so that we don't uh, shred our little fingies when we repeatedly mash our hands into a broken glass pane. But no, no, you'd be wrong because if we look at our protection tab, those hand plates we've got do indeed cover both the left and right hand at 100%. Uh, speaking of which, by the way, just a quick side note, people were asking whether or not the two greaves would count as two separate points. I say no. I say greaves are a set. I say hands are a set. So yes, greaves are one point, ding, and hand plates are another, ding. So is the watch, which leaves us with two credits. Now, I'm not going to spend it on the gloves like I mentioned. Instead, I'm actually going to spend it on another quality of life upgrade which is the holster we're probably not going to wear these quite often and i will include the double holster in this count but this means i can now have a sidearm on me which is pretty handy because that means if i want a gun but i don't want to have to carry the shotgun around we could for example carry a magnum instead which is yeah pretty beefy six shots pretty reliable uh, the same goes for the 1911 pistol with seven shots or of course we could use the desert eagle with eight uh, either way, it is definitely very much an option for us now. I'm not going to actually put anything in that slot because we've still got our shoddy, but that will be what we use at the end point. And then lastly, with our final credit for today, we're not actually going to grab more armor. Instead, we're going to grab something much, much grosser. These long socks. Mr. Foot, the uh, prolific commenter that he is, has spent the past two weeks of his life, up, uh, probably closer to a month at this point, begging, pleading on his hands and proverbial knees for us to just put some dang socks on. So guess what I'm going to do? This one's just for you, Mr. Foot. You're getting long socks. And just to really ramp up the grossness, we're going to be adding leather padding to uh, different parts of the sock, which is... I can't imagine that it, uh, that aids the fragrance, but it does improve the armor just a little bit. Now, we do have 100% on the foot, but, you know, if if, if, if so happens that the, uh, the zombies manage to get through my boots, uh, then we will, oh, well, you know, have a little bit more going for us. Also, it is worth uh, mentioning someone asked me how the armor behaves. Uh, armor behaves like all other clothing in this game, which means that it doesn't work properly. Uh, in functionality, like in practice, right? Uh, armor in Project Zomboid is kind of just a random number multiplier. So, like, let's say you were to take damage to your left shin. The damage calculation will be based on the percentages listed over here. And if you've got enough protection, you pass the armor check, then the armor itself will be destroyed instead of you taking damage. Meaning that if I trip, right, and I scratch my shin against a twig, this will immediately go to zero. I will be fine, but the armor will just shred itself. Whether you get shot, trip on a small branch, or get looked at in the wrong way by a zombie, the armor calculation is exactly the same. Apparently they are planning on revamping this in the next build of the game, but at the current moment, it is very, very, very rudimentary how it works. Okay, now, the next thing we want to do, a lot, there's a lot, a lot going on today. Uh, it's been a lot of time between this uh, and the last one. We're going to pick up this radio, we're going to put it on this box, okay? Because I want to set this thing up so I can see the weather. Now, no one mentioned this, I just sort of remembered it, which is that at 90 megahertz is our MAPS automated emergency broadcast system. This could have shown us where the helicopter was if I'd remembered to use it, which I didn't. 
Uh, instead, this is going to be used to show us the weather. Yeah, it's pretty good for that too. Every, I think it's every 15 minutes. It might be, it's, it's every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, a broadcast will play that tells you what the weather for your day is and what the weather for the upcoming day is. Let's uh, just go ahead to five o'clock. There we go. Automated broadcast system. What's it got to say to us? Okay, power grid is blacked out. We know that. The average temperature today is 61 Fahrenheit, 63 Fahrenheit. It's getting colder. It's getting colder. 31% humidity. We got a mild wind coming through. Clear skies, periodic cloudy. And then tomorrow we've got, ah, it's, yeah, it's a little bit colder. It's getting colder every day. Moderate wind from the north, some clouds. Okay, cool. So no rain today or tomorrow. Oh, no, wrong. Period of weather expected to start in the afternoon. That's for tomorrow. Okay, so we know that tomorrow we are having rain, which means that today is the perfect time to get some crops in the ground. All right, so first off, let's start off by eating our olive oil pasta. Uh, I made this off camera just so we'd have something to snack on. And then we're going to want to grab all of our empty pots and pans. And we're going to want to put these outside so we can grab all of that water. All that free water that just falls from the sky. Let's take it all. Okay, I'm also going to leave these empty water bottles on the floor out here so that I remember to refill them. Then let's head down to the farm and see how it's doing. I believe we have some seed bearing potatoes to harvest in these locations right here. So I'm going to do exactly that. Oh, nice. Level 4 farming. I don't know if that affects your yield. I actually, I actually genuinely, I have absolutely no idea. Let's go ahead and equip that shovel with both hands. And we are going to put down some furrows. We are not going to plant the seeds today. Uh, because we don't want the seeds to have a day without water. It might affect their, uh, their prosperity. But we will plant the seeds tomorrow morning. Because we know we're going to have rain in the evening. We've got a bunch of furrows that have been dug and are waiting for seeds. So let's go ahead and put the potato seeds away. And we'll use them tomorrow. You know what? You can have a worm, too, while you're at it. Worm boy. Worm boy, they said. They pointed. They laughed. Worm boy, they called me as I slithered across the floor. Worm boy, they derided as I nibbled on their corpses. I think I... I think I am actually going insane. Is what I would say if I was not worm boy. Ender of worlds. Defiler of bloodlines. <laughs> No, no, just, just insane. All right, then what do I want to do? Ah, yes, we still got our friendship bracelet. Oh, we've absolutely got to use that. I forgot about it completely. Yeah, a holster, all right. We shouldn't have worn it, man. I should have worn the friendship. Oh, well, that's staying in there. We got to go. I guess we got to go do some quick work, man. Survive for one month, 12 days. Ah, we've done 42 days. It's right there. I'm an idiot. Hold on, was that, was that available before? Was that, was that because of the watch? If I take that off? We have no idea. Oh my god, this game is crazy good. So now he knows how long it's been. I mean, that assumes he knew what the date was to begin with, which, uh, given the intellectual capacity we're working with here, I'm, I think that's a bold assumption. All right, anyway, I really do want to wear that friendship bracelet. Parentheses, not clickbait. So we are going to head out. Ah, and uh, now that it's light, you will notice that there is a distinct lack of blue. Uh, that is... That is also slightly self-inflicted. Okay, so the thing about driving is that I am not good at it. Ah! And uh, I may have found a way, this is revolutionary tech, let me tell you, to park the van inside a light post. Uh, it turns out the van's engine did not appreciate my innovations and has decided to cease function. Anyway, we need to continue moving batteries around because apparently that's how you learn how to change an axle. Grinding mechanics in Project Zomboid is the equivalent of your dad asking you to hold the flashlight uh, so that he can, you know, quote unquote, teach you how to work on a car. Speaking of mechanic skill, I'm actually going to go get my uh, motorcycle license tomorrow as of this time of this recording. Depending how long it takes, I, I might have got it by the time I finish this recording. I, I guess I'll let you know in this episode or the next one. But yeah, uh, we're going to be largely rolling at some point anyway. All right, I'm not going to bring the cars with me. Instead, we are going to shimmy hey, shimmy ya down the road because I want to get up to mechanics level two today because if we got mechanics level two and electrical level one, we will be able to hotwire cars. And then, well, let me tell you, the world will be our mollusk. Oh, and that is a uh, non-sovereign citizen in front of me. <laughs> you know what time it is, boys. Eh, leather jacket, huh? Yeah, I probably could use another spare. This one's in pretty good nick. I'm actually just going to leave that on the floor right over there. And we'll, we'll make the call later. 
And there it is. The apple of my eye. The object of my adversity. This thing right over here. Oh, man. I mean, listen. I, innovative driving mechanisms aside, I think this van did a lot for us. And it would be great to bring it back to life. Once we get Mechanics 2, we actually will be able to do a lot of repairs to the engine. <laughs> it's on 0%. Try not to pay attention to that number, please. It is very embarrassing for me. Incredible that the headlights are still going, though. You gotta, you gotta put some respect on the name for that one. Alright, what are we up to out of interest? Uh, we are presently up to 117 out of 150. So I'm going to five or six more cars and we'll have level two, which isn't that hard to get to. Speaking of adversity, I've got new ways to overcome it. One of the comments suggested that we should find a way to upgrade our vehicles. Now, in basic Project Zomboid, you can't really do this. You can kind of just repair them. Uh, I think there might be some ways to like reinforce the windshields and stuff. I'm not actually certain about that, but it's not enough, right? It's not quite as expansive. I think they are planning to expand on your options, but for right now, it's pretty dang basic. So instead, what we're going to try and do is, well, we're going to pick up that car battery for one. We're going to add a new mod. This is the vehicle standardization mod. It is pretty dang standardized, pretty dang handy. It works with pretty much any modded vehicle. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But we are going to have to find the recipe books in order to use it. And if we can find those recipe books, well, 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 then you better believe that we will be able to reinforce cars and repair them too. Uh, let's, let's us build like armored windshields, armored doors, you know, reinforce the headlamps so we can drive through zombies. It won't contribute to our kill count, which I think is really well balanced for this challenge. Um, but it will allow us to survive, you know, significantly huh? more dangerous hordes. And uh, sorry about that one. That was a subscription coming through. That's the, uh, that's the sound effect. I, I can't seem to mute them on my new recording software. I cannot wait until we can drive this van. I cannot wait to become men with Ven once again. The secret ingredient is crime. Any uh, peep show enjoyers in the comments section? No turkey! You f***ing idiot, Jeremy! We really did peak in the early 2000s, huh? Well, hello, sir. Fancy meeting you here. I don't not. I do not want to shoot the shotgun. Not because I don't want the zombie kills. I very much want that friendship bracelet. No, because I. The thought of forcing magic to do another murder montage in this specific field is, like, I feel like I should be strung up in front of the hay just for making him watch that exact sequence 15 times. You guys, uh, you don't care. You'll watch anything. But to wake that poor man edit that exact same, it, it's, it's ungovernable. Unqu what am I trying? I can't even think of the right word. I'm so sad for him. No pain. Mild. Moderate. Severe. Very severe. Take care of your editors, kids. They last a lot longer that way. Keep some extra fresh for the winter. <laughs> so I can nibble on him when I'm a worm. <laughs> hey, Magic, would you, would you still love me if I was a worm? Real answers only, please. When I see you again, also, shout out to the developers for letting you queue up all of these actions. It is... Man, it saves a lot. I guess they know how grindy this is, and they know how much time that saves. I, uh, massive respect. Massive respect. Like, if you're not going to change the system, improve the system. Pretty easy to understand, and we're about to get hot wiring, by the way. Who doggy. Oh, no. You're not doggy. You probably should have brought a fuel can, now that I think about it. Uh, might just have to use a water bottle get some petrol in these things. We might, they might just have to swip the headlights around here. That might be enough. Yep, it was enough. Okay, we'll put him back. So now with level two, yeah, if I had a wrench, I could take off the muffler now, make this thing real loud. That'd be fun. Okay, so with, does that allow me to work with the, oh, look at that. I now have enough mechanics to repair trunks. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we would just need a metal sheet. Oh, perfect. Are there still any in the hardware store, or did I clear that out? I don't remember. Where is the hardware store? Oh, it's all the way up there. Okay, okay. Don't go to the hardware store. First, hotwire the car. Okay, so switch seats to the front. Um, no key, but we can now... Hotwire engine. There we go. It does occasionally fail. Nope, worked that time. Let's see if it'll start. Oh, maybe not. I think we're out of gas. Let's just have a look here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are out of gas. Okay. The gas tank in that thing is also not great. Can I remove a gas tank? Am I am I that good? Level 2 mechanics? Is that really the... Is that the is that the holy grail? It is? Oh, no, I need basic mechanics for this model. Understood. Okay. 
So we need to go find some auto zone sort of car locations and load up on all of that stuff too. Okay, turn on the Jenny. I should really leave a fuel canister out here. And uh, we're just gonna, there's a little bit of water left in this one bottle. We're just gonna pour that out. And then we're gonna fill up the bottle from here and then just drop that in the tank. And we'll use that to get the car over here. Okay. Now, the hot wire does have a very high chance of failing to start the car. I think especially at lower levels. I'm not sure if it scales, to be completely honest. Uh, but it is something I am acutely aware of, is that uh, we are we should not trust hot wired cars to get us out of a stitch. Okay, we should now be able to refuel from the gas pump. Oh, baby, it's all coming together. Oh, very nice. And what have we got for... Uh, oh storage space 114 114 storage wow and then i think i'm going to use our newfound van I, mean, I do want that one at some point we'll get to it that might be our moving van if we ever have to leave but i do want to use this van oh god okay so the brakes um the brakes don't work on this one every car is their problems and i found this one's i want to bring this lad home we're going to fix him that's my project it's done so much for us I need him. He must come with me. Have pretty good towing skills here. Okay, our sleep schedule was a little scuffed, so I think what we're going to do is head home, uh, read up on a book, and then we're going to put the plant seeds in early in the morning and then head out uh, to do some looting before the rain comes in. Uh, I might actually see if I can get myself into some trouble before the rain comes in so that we uh, maybe we can go fight inside. Oh, you know what we should do tomorrow? We should go and get the automotive manuals. That is the most important thing we need to do actually. Uh, they're not in the library at the school, so we'll have to go check out some like auto traders, which I think we drove past in the north of town. Okay, the van is home, and soon it will be time to work out what we're doing with it. Oh, we got some food in there. I didn't even see that. I want to see if I can repair these brake pads on this thing, though. Uh, now the real question does this does this count as a heavy vehicle or a standard vehicle? Because I think I think we have the heavy vehicle maintenance manual, but I don't think we have the standard one. No, this is heavy duty. This is heavy duty. Maybe we don't. We actually do have the ability to do this, but I've got an eighty percent chance of breaking the brake. Uh, say that fast five times. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get some fresh brakes uh, off another heavy duty vehicle. Maybe not either one of these because these are pretty solid ones. We can find like a busted van. Uh, yeah, look, these brakes are pretty good, but those were those were terrible. And we got to fix the engine. Now, I did have some engine parts. I'm fairly certain. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure we had some engine parts lying around here somewhere. Engine parts would be pretty, pretty good right now. I, I don't want to go to bed this early or we're going to wake up super early again. So I think instead what we're going to do is read Mechanics Volume 2 while sitting on the floor over here. Uh, Noah, note to the editor. Uh, zoom out two black borders on top uh, and then it's just a white default text saying he is reading he is reading the book that is very funny probably to someone it's me it's i'm he i'm someone okay v mechanics volume two red knowledge acquired brain engorged let's go ahead and eat the last of our pasta we'll put this pot on the floor and then we shall go to betty buys Alrighty, all brighty, which is exactly how I would describe this head. Anyway, we are going to get into the action today, straight into it, some might say. I need to go out into the uh, into the wilds and get an auto trader to uh, teach me the secrets of their arcane craft. Or, you know, just uh, loot their corpses, whatever is easier. Uh, we also would like to grab those patate seeds. Uh, I think potatoes last the longest. Cabbages do provide you with the most nutrition, but uh, potatoes last a lot longer even if, for whatever reason, we were to run out of power, which I don't think we're going to have a problem with. I do love how, just with the subtle lighting effects in this game, you can kind of tell what the weather is, even though, you know, you never see the clouds. Uh, it is it is very much gloomier and darker than it normally would be, which is, I don't know, man, it's such a cool, such a cool little, 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 hint, little, little touch. Also, I'd like to keep an eye on the seeds. Wow, yeah, these are all really, really parched. Um, we need to get them some water soon, but thankfully the sky's got that covered. Love it for that. Okay, before we head out for today, I would like to top up my water bottle and grab a new one. Uh, we're going to grab our combat bag and we're going to get moving. Although maybe I shouldn't bring the combat bag today, now that I think about it. Maybe it would actually be better to bring the, uh, bring the tool bag. Because this will give us access to a wrench, right? 
No, we don't have a wrench in our tool set. I don't really want to carry a wrench around or 30 leather strips for that matter. So let's uh, put that away. I think instead I will just put some, I will just put some automotive tools into the station wagon that we've got. That would be a really fun car to armor up. So would the van, by the way, but I think the, I think the station wagon's probably better. Why am I grabbing the trauma bag? Well, that's because it's got all my shotgun shells in it. Okay, tool set in the back's got a lug wrench. Uh, we'll grab this tire pump. That's a great place to start. Uh, we'll need a, a wrench, and I think we also want a jack. That's all the sort of car tools we'll need. And that might be our automotive vehicle. We can use that to go out and fetch new cars. Okay, jack me. Just never do it off. Yeah, yeah, just chuck the duffel bag in the back. Oh, baby, now he's thinking with marbles. Okay. And if there isn't a lug wrench in there, they will be soon. And then I think, just to complete the set, we will take a fuel canister out of here. Okay, but where are we going today? Well, we know that there are automotive shops and all sorts of commercial buildings up here in the north of Louisville. So that's what I want to go check out first. Uh, we have driven past the school before, which was... Oh, I'm trying to remember, I think it was this building? Might have been this one. Oh, it was this building. It was this building. And I dis I distinctly remember seeing auto traders past the school. Car there. Yeah, I think we're going to head up here and just see what's, see what's cooking up this way. That's the mall. It's probably not there. Although I do want to check out this as well. Okay, you know what? Let's just get moving and we'll figure it out as we go. It's going to be a long day on the road. I didn't bring any food. Okay, we'll have to get some food on the way. Just watch the game, Miles. Just just watch the screen and drive the car well on the screen. Okay, that's all you have to do. Don't look at your phone. Don't look at the recording. Just look at the game and drive the car in straight lines without connecting with any of the objects in the game. It's simple. You can do it. You've done many things in your life. You're able to breathe every day unassisted. Honestly, that's probably beating the odds. Come on, baby. You can... You can you can press a button without being distracted. Oh god, I nearly I literally just looked at the recording to see if that happened. I am I am the stupidest man alive. Now the one way we can get these automotive parts isn't just by finding them in a shop. We can also get them by the killing mechanic zombies. So if we see people with oh like construction zombies, anyone in that sort of vein, you know, people who would work with welding stuff often. So if we see anyone in overalls, um, they are now enemy number one. Don't actually know specifically what the mechanic zombie's clothing looks like, so this will be interesting to find out together, won't it? That guy's got a hard head on, that seems like a good place to start. Uh, also, <laughs> you'd be crazy if you think I'm not taking these. No, don't place, take, take, you take. Oh, well, okay, well now you don't take anything, now you have to fight. That woman's hair just spawned in. If only it was that easy. More art thieves coming to steal my art. The Flamingus is mine, sir. You hear me? Mine. Is that a tasteful decorative bird bath? Mine. Oh my god, is the Flamingus mother load. Mine. I know what I must do. Okay, turns out this is the uh, home improvement episode. Who would have thought? That is indeed a construction zombie, right? Bros wearing a hard hat? I can do maths. Mine. Uh, military desert boots. Pretty big win. But not exactly what we're looking for elsewhere. That might be the last, uh, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, Flamingus we need? Question? Oh, and there's the rain. Do I not have a can opener? Really? Really? You can't use the large axe? I feel like if it can open a door, it can open a can. You can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a ball. But you can never dodge balding. You know <laughs> what? what? Is that actually that actually happened? I th of course it happened. I think I think this is a reflection. Yeah, we got some storage lots south of us there, but I don't think that's really worth the. Oh man, that one guy. That guy went for a little trip. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Where the heck am I? I'm over here. Oh. Uh, let's go see what these shops are. What are you? It's a massive dining hall, maybe. Art supplies, cute. Uh, we got a butcher's over there, shaken and stirred, sacrilege, espresso, espresso, we got socks, 
So true. Oh my god, it's the lady with the with the air conditioner through her. Okay, listen, I, I, I didn't stop last time to find out what that was. I just turned the car off. I'm the best to ever do it. We are finding out what that is right now. I don't care if I gotta fight the whole city for it. This is a mall. Could we use the structure to our advantage or would it be a liability to fight in here? Yeah, I don't think we'd be, I think we'd be better off in the open. You kind of want a dead end more than anything else. These buildings might do that, but then you're also caged in, right? Let's get a full accounting of what we've got going on here. Got a lot of zombies. Well, that one's alive. You duplicitous swine. All right, it's on. Oh, there they are, there they are. They survived. Truly, they are the chosen one. It was, narrator voice, a bad call. Although, maybe not. Now they are kind of bunched up a bit, aren't they? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big wins. Big wins. Okay, there are a few. There are a few. Cannot be denied that there are more than one zombie after me right now. Oh, another one. She's back. No, it's not another one. It's her. It's the chosen one. What is it? It's a micro mall. Incredible. Incredible. We must have it. Did you see how much damage that shit did? We must have it. It's a microwave on the end of a stick. Yeah, not a, no amount of heart medication in the world is gonna uh, keep you chill with that in front of you. That's for sure. That was a little too close. That was a little bit too close. Okay, use the corners. Use the corners. Doors and corners. That's where they get you. Oh, that guy's got a hiking bag. Oh my god, that's the next big upgrade. We gotta get up to 1700. Friendship bracelet and hiking bag. It's all I've ever wanted. We can still use the duffel bags, but that hiking bag right there? That's like one of the best uh, backpacks in the game after the military one. Pretty hard to say no to. Okay, uh, definitely beta block of time though. We are starting to get a little spooked here. We might we might not be able to finish this today. Which hurts. Hurts my feelies. Check the punk rock zombie. That's cool. Hell yeah, brother. Punk for life. Uh, and death, in your case. Run! Mm, I do not seem to be making an appreciable change in the uh, quantity of enemies here. I thought I was doing good work. I think it was... Uh, I think that was just because I was behind the building. We should very quickly try to start this car. Okay, the car has started. That's what matters. I'm going to leave it running. Put the lights on and leave it running. Right over here. Leave that running. Grab the micro mall. I must have the micro mall. I don't know what it is. I must have it. Oh god, it's heavy. It's very heavy. Okay, let's get them away from the car. And that's 1700. Okay, cool. So that enables uh, that enables a lot for us here. Okay, hop in. Okay, I do want to go back for the hiking bag quickly. And then I guess we uh, find somewhere to spend the night. Because uh, now this place is a little too hot. Oh, where was it? Oh, it's going to take me so long to find... Get it! Run! Run, 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 run! We got it! 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 Okay, run through here. Oh, shit. This is a dead end. Get out of here. Run out of here. Run out of here. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Just run through the window. Sprint! Sprint! I cut something. I don't know what. Just run. Just run. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, no. 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 Saint Nicholas. And so ends the tale of Saint Nicholas. It was one of perseverance, nakedness, and a significant amount of fear. I think we did pretty well, given our starting conditions and the rather insane constraints I placed upon myself, but unfortunately we didn't get to all the cool stuff I would have loved to explore. So maybe we'll come back to that in a future series, more of like a road warrior type thing. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. And please do not mourn St. Nicholas too much. This is the game. This is Project Zomboid. It says it 
right there in the title card. This is how you died. And well, unfortunately, we went out the way that we came in, which was running, screaming, terrified for our lives, and looking after that sweet, sweet loot. Thank you everybody so much for watching. St. Nicholas and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bit of a postscriptum here for anyone who made it through all the credits. I would like to also offer you the save file. You can pick up St. Nicholas's Journey from exactly where we left off at the second day of this episode, the day that we ended up dying. Uh, I will link the file down in the description. You can download it there. It's a Google Drive folder. Uh, you just need to head over to your, I'll give you the exact file directory in the description as well. In fact, I'll, I'll include instructions on how to install it. You're welcome to use it and uh, let me know how it goes in the description, in the Discord, which is also linked in the description. Don't let me know in the description. That would mean you have editor access and that would mean your magic. And then you could just call me, dude. Like, come on, you haven't got to send me cryptic messages through the description. Is my family okay? Just tell me, please. It's been so long since I've seen them. I won't ever lose another recording magic, please. Please. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top 3% eh, of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. And here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here?